The West Virginia State track meet is through its first day here at Laidley Field in Charleston, and after an exciting afternoon turned to evening, it proved to be an impressive start to the weekend for North Central West Virginia. The best athletes in the state of West Virginia put on a show today, and there's still a ton to compete for tomorrow. Starting the day off with the four by 800 meter relay, the distance dominance from the city of Morgantown continues. First up, the Mohegan team of Sophie Renner, Maddie Gump, Amelia Summers, and Anna Lester gave the defending AAA state champs their first win of the meet, with Summers narrowly holding off a push from University in the final straightaway. I had no clue where she was. I was like over here, Maldi. I was like, where is she? And I, 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 took a, I took a look back. I shouldn't have looked back, but I saw her right behind me. I was like, at the 200 meters, I was like, I gotta go. And I just went. That wasn't the only 4x8 win for Mon County, though, with Drew Zundel overtaking a hurricane in the final lap to record a victory for University and finishing with a unique celebration, to say the least. I want to win for these guys. Uh, this win isn't for me, it's for them, it's for the team. And uh, I really just wanted to make them proud and uh, kind of um, satisfy the work that they did out there on those other three legs, because it wasn't just me. I was out golfing yesterday, so, you know, I was just like, why not? I'm not very good at golf, though, so when I was looking at the ball, it was probably hooking right. Another dominant return performer continued to etch her name into the record books as Dodgers County's Abby McDonough won her third consecutive single A pole vault championship. I'm just so excited. I was a little bit nervous going in there. It's hard coming in for going for your three time state title, but I got the job done and I'm happy with the performance I put up today. And I'm just so excited. I know all my hard work and perseverance has paid off and uh, I'm ready to go to college for it. A pair of championships in the shuttle hurdle relay are coming to North Central West Virginia as well. The North Marion girls team of Addie Elliott, Isabella Richards, Maylee Bland and Riley Delovich took first place in class AA and Bridgeport's Camden Hess, Lucas Anderson, Kale Kulacerto and Ty Martin secured the boys AAA championship. The Huskies weren't done for the day yet though. Maylee Bland took home the pole vault championship in class AA as just a sophomore. I really pushed myself this year to work hard. I went and did some jumping during the winter with um, Morgantown's head coach, Jeff Tour, and then my coach, DJ Hayes, he really helped me through this year too. Pushing. He stepped in whenever I didn't have a coach and he really learned and pushed through for me. And the day ends much as it began with distance running and dominance from Morgantown. In the AAA girls race, Irene Riggs made history in her final 3,200 meter run, snapping her own state meet record and dominating the field for even more hardware to put in the trophy case. I wanted to try that first mile like a little bit more up pace to try to see what I can do later on in the season. And then the second mile, you know, the mental thoughts started to creep in being out there in no man's land. And so I did kind of slow down a little bit, um, but I'm not mad about it. I still broke the record, so it's, it's all good. She returns tomorrow, aiming to close out her career with wins in the 800 and 1600 meters. We'll be back tomorrow to crown six team champions and numerous individual champions right here at Laidley Field. So be sure to come right back here to the 12 Sports Zone. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Daniel Woods, 12 Sports.